Hey guys, it's Misa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be going through some of my semi-formal to like formal dresses and their price range ranges from $13 to $300. So these are good for all occasions as wedding guests, maybe a Valentine date that you have or anything like that. And I am so excited to show you guys what dresses that I have. So if you're interested, stay tuned and let's get into it. So I will probably share all the dresses from the least expensive to the most expensive just to make it easier for you guys. Maybe if your budget is higher, you can just skip to the end. But we're going to start with a $13 one, which I got from Q or Q Love. I'm not sure which, but I think that they're under the same like bigger company. And this dress kind of has like this spaghetti strap front. It doesn't look that nice in the front to me for my personal style, but maybe if you're a little bit more conservative it is because it covers um, quite a lot. And the bottom, it's only it only goes up to like a mini dress and then the rest is sheer, which I feel like gives it a little bit more of like a party dress vibe rather than like something that you would wear to a funeral. <laughs> And you definitely get what you pay for because this does look a little bit cheap on, but for $13, you really can't beat it. And I don't think that I'll have a link to this, but if you guys wanna find it, the reason that I put this in the video is because I know that Q has a lot of stuff similar to this. And I think this was maybe like $21 originally, but I got it on sale and they do have like a clearance rack and everything. So if you guys are interested in looking for a dress similar to it, then you'll find it there. Next up we have this red wine colored looking dress from Shein. The top is kind of similar to the one from Q like with this V deep V front but the back is completely open so if I were you I would use some body tape to tape these to the front otherwise everything is going to be showing. They do have long straps so you can like kind of make a strappy design around it and maybe that would help keep it in place a little bit more but I didn't do that in the um, video. This also has a slit and material wise I mean it does feel like Shein. It is probably good for the price if you're needing something super cheap for maybe like a wedding that's like coming up and you need a last minute dress but overall it's not my favorite material. You can tell that it looks a little bit cheap like when you go up close but if you steam it really well I do see how you could make it look very expensive. So next up I have this brown dress. As you can see I like satin and you're gonna see even more satin stuff as I keep going but this was $30 and I actually forgot to use a coupon but with a coupon this could actually be cheaper than the Shein dress. I actually these are really close in price. I don't remember which one was cheaper. This satin material, it does feel a little bit more like drapey and therefore like more expensive and prettier than the Shein one, which is why I put it a little bit later. And I like the cutouts in the side. It goes all the way to the back. Like it's like from the sides to the back. But I really like it because it really makes it look like you have an hourglass figure. The only complaints I have with this dress is that the color online looked really bronzy, but when it's actually on, it really blends into my skin color. So, I mean, it's gorgeous, but I wish that it just stood out a little bit more on my skin. But maybe for people with darker skin tones or really fair skin tones, this would be really pretty for you. And I actually got this on some random like boutique website. I'll definitely try to find it and when I do, I'll leave it in the description, but it's just kind of like a no name company. So I was like really scared to buy from it, but the dress turned out surprisingly nice. So I would definitely go for it. It's super cheap. Next up, I have this velvet navy blue dress from Lucy in the Sky. This one lengthwise, it is pretty long unless I'm wearing heels then it's actually kind of okay. It's like backless, but it does um, lace up a lot. So it just makes the back look really flattering. And in general, I saw this on TikTok first. I saw someone wearing it and when I got it, it definitely did not disappoint. It looks incredible on and the fabric does feel expensive and it looks expensive. This is, definitely a really nice 
wedding dress but one thing is the slit is really high i know some people like that personally i do but you do have to be careful with undergarments or things that you might wear underneath and of course i had to include this asymmetrical one shoulder dress from abercrombie which i talked about more in depth in my abercrombie video which i will link below and this just cinches at your waist the material is heavy and thick and nice and it's really shaping for me anyway and it also has a slit you can tell i have a style i really like satin and i really like things with slits i guess and i really love the color it just definitely makes you stand out when you're in a crowd next up is this aritzia ruched slip dress which i also talked about in my aritzia video so i will also link that below but you can wear this in three different ways but the way i'm showing it right now is the way that it looks a little bit more formal it's a midi dress so it's not like a maxi like the rest of them but i think that this just makes me look so expensive in the way that the satin drapes and everything it just makes me look so expensive and i love it last but not least the most expensive dress by far is this house of cb adrian dress in the blush color and it does have a corset lining so it does give you more shape and this is just so stunning like i had no idea where i was going to wear this but i had seen um, a verified reseller on ebay selling it so i actually got it for like at most 120 I think it might have been $80 plus like 30 something dollar shipping and then tax. But considering it's originally $300, I think that was definitely a steal. And as you can see, it looks amazing on. I didn't even steam it or anything, but once I do, I already know it's gonna look even better. Just for reference, this is a size extra small and I do have the Silva corset from House of CB and that one is actually a little bit tighter. So I don't know if that helps you with sizing or not, but I hope it does. This satin is, very thick it's not as drapey as the aritzia one but it definitely does look expensive and if you have the money it is definitely worth the purchase the last thing about the house of cb dress it is very long i feel like things that are made in europe and are made for european women tend to be just so long like even with my four inch five inch heels the dress was still dragging on the floor a bit but honestly i don't really care because it was cheap so i could get it tailored if i wanted to probably once i have an event to wear it too but just keep that in mind when you are getting it if you are a petite person Thank you guys for watching my video. If you found it helpful or enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments so I know for future videos and subscribe to stick around for more. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.